Hi everybody, welcome to today's tutorial on how to close edges in a poly surface. So you might already have experienced that issue in Rhino. When you have a poly surface, which means a surface that is made up of multiple surfaces. So in this example here, which is by the way the result of a previous episode where we created a receding edge. So let me just show you that quickly. Here we have a receding edge edge that smoothly transitions into that soft surface here. So check that video out if you are interested. So back to the issue, we have a surface that seemingly is connected. We have a single piece, we can click it, we can drag it and it's behaving as if it's one surface. The issue comes though if we want to create a solid out of that for example or work with it in another way. Sometimes surfaces don't connect perfectly if there is too much of a deviation of two edges, for example. So let me show you how this looks. If we go to surface tools, there's a tool called show edges. And if we click that and highlight our poly surface, click enter, you can see that the edge analysis shows us we have one naked edge here that should be connected. So these two surfaces actually don't connect. And it can become a bigger issue later on. So we want to close those naked edges. To do that, we can cascade our show edges tool down and that gives us the edge tools. And those are really interesting tools. We can maybe talk a little bit more about those in a different video. But right now, what we want to do is join those edges. And we have a tool called join two naked edges. So we can use that. Click that and then click once for the origin edge and then a second time in order to tell Rhino which edge to connect. And then you can see the tolerance. So depending on what tolerance you might have in your preferences, this might not be an issue, but if you have tight tolerances, those surfaces might not connect sometimes. So here you wanna join those edges manually. So you can see the tolerance. Do we want to move the tolerance up and join those edges? Yes, we want to do that. So now you can see the edge analysis is still open and all the naked edges are only on the outside border, which is perfect, which is fine. And those inside edges are all connected. So this piece is now a single poly surface. It doesn't have any naked edges, doesn't have any holes, so to say, and we can continue working with that. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something new today. And if you did, subscribe down below and also make sure that the bell icon is active so you will be notified when I release a new video. Thanks for now and I'll see you in the next video.